From 1972 to 1975, while playing for the Philadelphia Phillies and Cleveland Indians, Oscar Gamble sported the biggest, baddest, most glorious afro in the major leagues. The outfielder's dynamic dude stood an estimated 10 inches tall at the apex. It was so immaculately funky that Johnson Products even approached him about doing a TV commercial for Afro Sheen. But in March 1976, when Gamble reported to the New York Yankees Spring Training Complex in Fort Lauderdale, Florida, manager Billy Martin told him that he would not be allowed onto the field in a Yankee uniform until he drastically diminished the copious circumference of his coiffure. Though Afros were decidedly unpopular with baseball's old guard, who tended to confuse black pride with militancy, Martin wasn't being discriminatory. All members of the 1976 Yankees were subject to the team's new neatness counts policy, which forbade the wearing of beards, beads, mutton chops, long hair, and even long uniform stirrups. The policy had recently been instituted by team owner George Steinbrenner, and it was one of the few things that Martin and Steinbrenner would ever completely agree upon. Faced with the choice between losing his curls or losing his job, Gamble paid a visit to the barbershop at the Yankees hotel and submitted himself to an impromptu shearing. The haircut, which took an hour to complete, shrank his hat size from eight to seven and a half. Gamble's wife Juanita reportedly wept as she saw her man's curls cascading to the floor, but Gamble himself seemed remarkably philosophical about his new, more conservative look. All the more so once Steinbrenner reimbursed him for the fee he was supposed to receive for doing the Afrochine ad. I like my hair long, he said, but it'll grow back. I hope. I'm Dan Epstein, and that's the way it was.